Good day, everybody. This is Mike Condeveres from Jurisq.com. We are a legal network where we have attorneys from all types of practice areas from different states in U.S. answering legal FAQs, frequently asked questions. And today we're bringing back Steven Univer, who is a partner in Sinaiska Univer, a commercial real estate firm, law firm. Uh, Steven, welcome back. Thank you, Michael, for having me back. Thank you. In our prior sessions today, actually, we talked about triple net leases. We talked about hard money. All these practical things you should watch out for when you are acquiring uh, real estate, either buying or uh, leasing. And today I want to talk about a very interesting topic, foreclosures. People think on the foreclosure, you're so lucky to get one. You can possibly make a, mo a lot of money. When you uh, resell it, we get a good value for it. However, nothing is for free. There are a lot of pitfalls when buying property on foreclosure. Steven, can you please give us some uh, red flags? What to watch out, watch out for, some practical advice, what to consider when buying property that has been on foreclosure? So th there's a few different... Um kind of ways of purchasing property on foreclosure, okay. whether it's at an auction at the foreclosure, uh, at a short sale between, let's say, the owners already in foreclosure, and they need to sell the property for less than the mortgage that they have on it. Okay. And then there's wholesale purchasing. Let's say a, pro a bank already foreclosed on 10 properties, mm -hmm. and you want to negotiate the properties. Okay. Out of all, th all of them, the most important part um, is basically the chain of title who owns the deed in the property okay so let's say you buy it at an auction quite often it depends who's what lien is being auctioned a lot of homeowners associations those are let's say a condo a co-op well co-op's a little different but a condo or a private community let's say out in long island they don't you don't pay your maintenance or your house fees they're allowed right. to foreclose on you mm -hmm. more often than not that's usually a second lien position when you buy that at auction, you actually buy it with whoever's on the first lien position. Okay. So that means you're buying it with. So if I, if this person had a mortgage on the property, but they were foreclosed on by the homeowners association, you're buying it with their mortgage. You will owe that mortgage. Mm -hmm. So that's just massive pitfall because I, I had a client buy a. It worked out for them, but they bought a two million dollar property in Long Island in a private community. The property i think it was like three hundred thousand dollars that they owned to the homeowners association so they paid the three hundred thousand but two years later they found out because you don't have enough time to pull a title that there was a mortgage on it for about 1.2 million at the end of the day they had to negotiate the 1.2 million mortgage so they bought this property for let's say 1.5 million and it was two million dollars but if you're in a position where you buy something that's only worth a million Right. With a mortgage. That is the biggest pitfall. And you have to really do that with somebody who's experienced in searching property title exactly. and to understand the process. Yeah. Like you said, do you even have enough time sometimes to pull a title report? Because that takes a few days to prepare, maybe even a few weeks. So if you're buying, if it's your first property that you're that you want to buy in foreclosure, you right. definitely want to have your have everybody ready. Speak to a lawyer, speak to an accountant, speak to everybody to make sure they do a search before you go to the auction. Mm -hmm. If it's a short oh, sale, yeah. you have more time to look for it. But if it's your first property, this is what you want to buy for yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're a business and you're wanting to do this, you already have all of the people that are ready. So you have you need your attorney ready. You right. need the attorney to have a title company. You need to be ready that they know that you're going to an auction. So within 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you're able to do a search. And right. I could be able, I could see who what is going to be auctioned beforehand as well mm. so it is very imp important it seems like from our discussion to do the legwork ahead of time not just uh, about the physical condition of the property you're trying to buy but also the legal condition to make sure you do due diligence you don't buy as we say a cat in the bag because otherwise you'll be stuck with it right because once you buy at a foreclosure that's it there's no going back right you, no, you, there's remember. no money back guarantee 
So if you go to an auction, the down payment is basically cash on hand. You have to give whatever 10% of whatever mm -hmm. auction price you have. Mm -hmm. So you know something is going to be auctioned off for 100000 You want to make sure that you go to an auction and you have more money than $10,000. Right. Because it starts at a hundred. Let's say it goes for five hundred. You want to make sure you have at least fifty thousand in a certified cashier's check. Yeah, and uh, also, Stephen, when you buy a regular property and you look at a title report, there are some issues. Let's say valuations. You have uh, a way to address them prior to closing with the opposing counsel, right? On the foreclosure, you don't have the same opportunity. So, what happens if there are valuations and you bought with those valuations? Are you stuck with them? You are so violations usually run with the property, depending on which ones, right? Um, and that's a different discussion, but yes, uh, you are potentially stuck with violations, stuck with taxes, stuck with mm -hmm. mortgage, stuck yes. with everything. So, doing your due diligence is very important because uh, I, I've had unfortunately clients that auction off, they're, they're, they go to the auction, bid on it, leave their money, then we pull, then they pull a title afterwards or do a, even a limited lien search and right. find out there's more money and then they lose the down payment. So the lesson to be learned, if you are a first time buyer for close property or you have a limited experience in it, it's advisable to talk to an attorney first about generally how it works, but also pinpointing the property that you want and have the attorney do due diligence on that property. And attorney that can do that is Steven Univer from Sinaiske Univer. Steven, thank you so much for your time. We're going to have your phone number on the bottom of the screen. If anybody wants to cont contact you, get information, get a consultation, they're free to call the number below. Steven, right. thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. We're going to let you get back to servicing your clients uh, in real estate and other practice areas. We appreciate it. We appreciate everybody's time for tuning in and stay tuned for more great advice on commercial real estate law in New York from Steven Univer. Take care, everybody. Bye. Thank you so much, Michael. Thanks.